everyone, welcome to the 17th tutorial on a beginner's guide on how to twin motion. In this video, we will be doing time lapse. Start off with a clear scene or a default scene or a project scene that you already have in your twin motion. We start off by adding some vegetation via library. Go with a variety of trees. I'll be choosing a couple of trees like so. That should be enough for me and some bushes or flowers. Feel free to use populate as well which is right here so you won't have to drag and drop everything like what I'm doing. So I'll just finish off with the bush base which is right here. Alright, now we go to media which is right here make sure to click the video instead of photo now we will click here to create our first video frame feel free to add more but for me i'm only going to be using four frames only now we have to alter the properties of each frame after selecting a frame we have to click the ambience which is right here if you don't see it you have to click the scene which is over here also, make sure you have Properties and Scene Toolbox both toggled on. So again, oh, I want my scene first. Alright, click Ambience. And here, in this video, feel free to scroll down so we can look for Weather, which is right here. Now, Collapse Details, and everything we have it should be right in front of us. Now, make sure to have your first frame toggled or selected we're just gonna scroll up back a bit and I'm gonna start the time of day with maybe 6 a.m. scrolling back down you can change the weather to a rain if you want but I prefer it sunny now I'm just looking for the age or vegetation growth which is this one I'll start with something small like this increase the wind direction so we can see some leaf blues and back here remember the number we've used 154 degrees and 0 0.08 so our next couple of frames should be more than this sorry wind speed not wind direction now going back here Okay, that should be enough all right so as we move on to our next couple of frames make sure to increase the parameters for each one I'll put my wind speed at maximum now and still be somewhere around here okay that should be all right now for our last frame I'll be placing the wind speed at maximum in direction somewhere here and vegetation at maximum as well that should be enough I'll increase this to maybe somewhere around here so we can see some shadow moving now if I were to drag here and play the video and that's how it should look like of course we haven't exported this yet so after this I will export it to an HD and just 2k or 1080p to see some proper export video okay so moving on and here's the export looks much more crisp and clearer compared to the regular scene and that's it for the tutorial for questions and suggestions please do comment below and if you find the tutorial helpful please do support me by liking and subscribing i'll see you in the next one thank you very much guys